bag. Hey gang, I'm Dr. Who. This is Account is a Joke, where accounting makes sense so you can make dollars. Today we're gonna do a walkthrough problem on how to properly do some financial statement analysis with the current ratio. So if you're unfamiliar to the current ratio, don't fret gang, I dropped the link to get you up to speed in no time. So with that being said, let's get it. Gang, before we get into this problem, I want you to understand the power of financial accounting. It allows individuals and users to make decisions based on the reporting part of the process. Now, when we're talking about the reporting part, we're talking about the financial statements. Remember, financial accounting is for the public, which means that the entire world has access to determine how well a company is doing. And based on those financial statements, people are able to do financial statement analysis one of which is considered ratio analysis. And so basically these ratios could tell you different valuable pieces about how the company is doing. This particular ratio, the current ratio where we're talking about deals with liquidity, how liquid the particular company is. And so with that being said, the current ratio measures the company's ability to pay off its current liabilities with the current assets. Remember, companies have to operate, and a great deal of operations deal with paying off expenses and current debt. And so the company utilizes its current assets in order to do so. And so this is a perfect metric that can set the tone to see how well the company can. So without any further ado, let's dive on in. So it tells us, end of the line, my tenant refrigeration has three account balances at December 31st. So let's see what we have here. Okay, we have some information. Then it says calculate end of the line my tan of refrigeration's current ratio. How much a current ratio does the end of the line refrigeration have for every dollar of us? Okay. So here we go, gang. And so they want us to calculate the current ratio. And we know that the formula for the current ratios is current assets divided by current liabilities. And so what we must do is recognize out of this list what accounts are current assets and current liabilities. So let's get to it. So starting off first, we have a notes payable loan term. Gain, last name payable, which means it's a liability, but it's a loan term. So this won't be included. Prepaid rent. Prepaid rent is considered a current asset. So we're going to definitely include that. Salaries payable. Payable makes it a liability and it's paying on the salaries. So we know that this is considered a current liability as well, which will include it. Service revenue will not be included in the ratio. Office supplies is also considered a current asset. Remember gang, by definition, current assets are any assets that the company expects to convert into cash less than a year or operating cycle. And of course, supplies fits the bill. Accumulated depreciation, equipment? No, that's a contra account to equipment, which is a long-term asset. Advertising expense will not be included. Accounts payable, of course it will, because that's considered a current liability. Accounts receivable will also be considered a current asset included in the ratio. Cash, cash is king, and we know that's the primary current asset that's the most liquid. Depreciation expense will not get included. Equipment is a long-term asset, thus it won't be included. Common stock is a part of stockholders' equity, which means it will not be included as well. And last but not least, rent expense will not be included in the particular formula. So in summation, based on our formula, we know that our current ratio is equal to your current assets divided by your current liabilities. And so we're gonna add up all those recognizable current assets and the total of it will give us 13,900 gang. And we're gonna also add up all of those recognizable current liabilities will give us a total of 6,200. And so if we divide 6,200 into 13,900, that gives us a current ratio of 2.24. We're gonna check that answer. Well done gang. Now let's elaborate before we go on to the second requirement about the 2.24. What does that actually tell us? Gain, that basically tells us that for every $1 the company has in current liabilities, they have 2.24 times that in current assets. 
which basically means that they could cover their particular debt based on their assets 2.24 times. So requirement two wants to know how much in current assets does the company have for every dollar in current liabilities? Well, gang, we just summarized that. So with that being said, gang, the company has $2.24 of current assets for every dollar of current liabilities that it owes. We're gonna check that answer. Well done, gang. So there you have it. A quick, easy illustration of how to properly interpret the current ratio. If that made sense to you, gang, that light bulb was clicking upstairs, please like, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends so they can chase the bag as well. As always, gang, I'm Dr. Who, and it's my humble pleasure to have you guys share your time with me, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.